EGFR TKIs, the standard approval is really an unselected population, second and third line. We've seen a clear improvement compared to an oral placebo uh, in patients uh, who have uh, previously been treated with uh, a platinum-based doublet with or without a uh, second line uh, cytotoxic. Uh, the response rate was modest, it was under 10%. Progression-free survival is just over two months, but there was a two-month improvement in median survival, about a 10% improvement in one-year survival in this setting. So really, erlotinib can be given to uh, the broad spectrum of advanced non-small cell patients, but the group that seems to derive the greatest benefit are those with the EGFR mutation, which is only about 10 to 15% of the total. And in that group, earlier use of erlotinib, giving it frontline in lieu of chemotherapy or using it as maintenance uh, makes a lot more sense rather than delaying it to second or third line.